It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. And able to get this out to the 25. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Brown goes in motion left. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And Cameron Hayward's ability to take on blocks, hold the point of attack, and get upfield serves him very, very well. What a nice play there. Yeah, he can take on blocks because he's built like a block. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And yeah, he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. Leading out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Barkley inside handoff. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Second and ten. At the steamer is 41 yard line. Here's Hertz to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, it pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they talk about creating turnovers. That's all they preach all game long, all practice long, every meeting, get the football. That's what they want. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Wilson's throw taken in by Watkins here. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And he is caught, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. First target, first catch, and a first down. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Wilson. Fighting through pressure. Steps away to his left. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, It'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Harris. Will score. Touchdown, Steelers. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Extra point put through by Boswell, and it's now a 7-0 game. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. 
But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together. Rishi ends up, and then Hurts fumbles it, and it's picked up by the steal. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up first and goal at the five. And whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery, everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are, and now a terrific opportunity inside the five. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Down at the two. Broke through the first contact, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Now they fake the jet sweep there, and a run instead with Harris. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. They'll try to run with Harris. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the fumble recovery had him set up at ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt here. They take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. So we've reached halftime here with a visiting st And just like that, on we head to half number two. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead, and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. And the half will begin with a touchback. Well, the Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Now a first down carry for Harris. They're able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And the tackle there is again down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. The offense staying out. 
They're going to go on fourth and two. They're going for it. This is Harris. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shorted the line to gain. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's got Smith here. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Burt sets up to throw it. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He'll find Parker again, complete. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he'll get it down inside the 25. Throwing his Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Here we go. First and goal. Hurts. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So now right there. This is not on yet. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7. Six plays, and the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it. They do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of number. Coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 90% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number as a empirical. And he is going to have a Steeler first down. All smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. They run again with Harris. Fighting his way through contact. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. A big pick up there. And without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story 